everybody. Welcome back again to Wonka Watch. We're bringing you here for a slightly different occasion than usual. Today we're looking at and we're watching Wonka. Wonka watch Wonka with Wonka Watch. Is this my second time recording this intro because we had technical difficulties in 30 seconds of recording and then I just got really tired. <laughs> I got exhausted. Felicia aged 50 years before my eyes. I had energy and now I don't. I just feel exhausted now. But the energy will get back up. I'll get there. I believe in me. It'll be good. It'll be good. Well, the magic of Wonka round two will enliven your soul and put gold in your veins. It's not even two hours. And we've done this with much longer movies. We will exactly. be okay. Um, but yeah, since Wonka has been released from his cage and is now available to view on Max, still hate that, mm-hmm. we <laughs> are able to watch it. We would have paid for it if it wasn't, but it did become yeah. much more convenient for us. Not it was like a little to. gift to us that we didn't have to pay for it. You yeah. know, it, it just felt, felt like you earned this. You earned. Exactly. Yeah. So we do these mo- movie commentaries over on our Buy Me a Coffee, um, which is just a silly time because Felicia and I just get to basically have sleepovers, but we're watching whatever kind of movies. Um, and we thought, you know, it's time for this. This needs to go on the main feed. So we wanted everyone to have access to this. If you've never dealt with a movie commentary track, Felicia is going to give us instructions on when you guys should start the movie. So we're all lined up. Um, so don't worry. No stress there. It's going to be a great time. And yeah, I think it'll be interesting watching this a second time because the first time we watched it, you know, we had just dealt with Charleston flooding and, uh, right. you know, it wasn't the day we were supposed to watch it, but I think it, you know, it worked out, but it was like a lot. And, you know, we, th- that had been like the epitome of this entire podcast going to exactly. see it. So there was just kind of like a lot of like, we were taking notes you know, and then I lost my notes. <laughs> and we were like, we came out of the film. We were like, I loved it. I would say it's a like now for me. It's a like. It's a, yeah. I was like, well, that's a film. It was nice. It's a right. like. You know? But I don't know. Watching it again, like, will it win us back over? So like, I think girl, it'll be nice we because <laughs> we saw it without commentary, which honestly, I think that worked out too because we were able no. to like fully Process pay attention. It. Unlike, uh, we did a Dune commentary track and apparently we missed the most important part to explain what happened in the first five minutes. And so for the rest of the movie, we're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Yeah, it's we talked about silly time. the crucial dialogue. That yeah, which like usually we're pretty good at like, okay, tune in at this point. No, we we missed the whole point that made everything make sense. Yeah. But the good news is we already know what's happening here. And also Wonka is way less complicated than Yeah, Doom. there's not like lore to keep up with. Um, yeah. I guess if you enjoy this, you can head over to our Buy Me a Coffee Try stuff there. We also, you can get commentary tracks a la carte. It's more of an accident because Buy Me a Coffee doesn't allow for... um audio file downloads so we uploaded them to the like extras part of the page so that like members can download them just because it's nicer to be able to have a file download but if you like don't want to pay for membership and you just want to listen to like elaine and i uh, do a commentary track of sense and sensibility that is perfectly okay yeah um honestly i think i would do that (laughs) if i was a listener (laughs) it's a great time i actually did our i watched I usually don't go back to our commentary tracks, but I did watch Sense and Sensibility with our commentary track, and I giggled a lot, it's, which is kind of fun. embarrassing we to say. We have a great time with them. We have a very good time. They're it's very, very goofy. Uh, we literally can't edit anything out, so they're normally very uncensored. So just... They get very raunchy for some reason. We yeah. realize like, no matter the movie, at some point, things get raunchy. So which will be I don't interesting know if to see if that happens today, because I don't know if it's the element of the commentary track in the sense that we can't pause and edit, or if it's the sense of protection of being behind a paywall. Right. I don't know what it is. I don't know either. Because like, you know, we get raunchy on the main feed too, but I wouldn't say every episode we are recording, we're having to edit out all these constant chunks of us just like no. being wild. But yeah, something about the commentary track. I guess it's because... It's not usually Wonka at like we have commentary and tracks for the like main Wonka's movies, yeah. right? Yeah. But a lot of them like a certain glee of when we don't have to talk about Wonka. Yeah, for us. It's like, oh my gosh, this is so silly. So a lot of different vibes. But yeah, so it'll be interesting if that happens here. Also, sometimes if we're watching something and it's just like, oh my gosh, this is a weird scene, we like can end up in a wild area, right? So I I don't know if that'll happen for us here. I feel like it'll be very like contained, but it'll just, I'm very excited to see what happens and also to see if any of our opinions have changed now that's the second rewatch. And that's right. We have to remind ourselves the magical undercurrent. We need to analyze for our magical undercurrent. Yes, theory. because now we have a grand theory exactly. that we can now see how we feel about it. I believe in us. What a time. Okay. All right. Well, well you feel good? Yeah, I feel good. Oh, boy. Well, let's sync us up with the 
you, the commentary, the track of the movie to sync us up with the movie, the movie to sync us talking up with the movie. What you're going to do is press pause on this uh, podcast episode when I tell you to press pause and only press play on us again after the Warner Brothers logo fades completely to black. Is that clear? Are we you all clear? Guys. It's your pop quiz. Warner Brothers logo fades to black. Then you can press play on us again. But for now, press pause. Hello, everybody. Hey. When what we first culminate. watched this intro, Felicia and I were gripping hands. Our hands. We were holding hands. <laughs> oh, we were. Because, like, how else would you? This what feels so weird do? to be re-experiencing. Because, like, I do recognize this as a real movie, but it does feel odd to me, you know? Yeah. I remember this was a big moment for us. This was the foil, you know? Yeah. And the golden ticket. And we were like, whoa. And that never came back. I've, it's I was also nice because we don't have to watch this also worrying about the predictions because we already know exactly. for the there's most no, part what's going there's on. There's no stress. There's no stress. Um, I, I've also been thinking about Land the Hoy isn't a messed up statement. Like that is a real statement, but it just feels so fucked up, you know? It's I'm gonna Land I'm gonna still Hoy. be judgmental and say it's so stupid. And, and you oh, know yeah. what? Maybe it's Timmy's delivery. Not Timothy Chalamet, Timmy Wonka. No, exactly. You know? Timmy a uh, Timothy Chalamet plays Timmy Wonka as a goober extremely well. Yes. But he is a goober. I want to make fun of him. I can't believe this movie. I can't believe I feel like I'm real. at the top of a roller coaster. I think that's what it is. Like, I feel like I'm at the top of a roller coaster because I have that, like, zero yeah. gravity feeling in my, my tummy. Yeah. Okay. I weirdly feel more anxiety watching it now than I just. Is that weird? I got it. A whole way. So, <laughs> um, than in the theater. So stupid. You know? Okay. Magical undercurrent begins. Yes. Like, why is the engineer putting on his coat? Chef. Okay. So we did say chef. Yeah. I want to see what food he was making on the ship because I can't imagine him making like a functional stew, you know? No. Unless everyone was just eating chocolate. Which. Would they know? If we're talking about the magical undercurrent, would they know? (laughs) Him being able to pull off that jump, magical undercurrent. Now here we go. (laughs) Yeah, right, right. Okay, okay, everybody. It's kind of hard to talk over musical numbers. I don't think I realize that. Maybe I need to make it quieter. This is just um, wild. There's the hat. Parisian. Oh, it's like when you're at Epcot and you're eating around the world. I will say <laughs> the music numbers are so much better in context. Out yes. of context, I still dislike these songs. Yeah. I wouldn't. (laughs) There's something very Sandra Boynton novel. uh, Novel. (laughs) She doesn't write novels. She writes board books, Felicia. Um, (laughs) I don't know what I mean when I say this feels very Sandra Boynton to me, but it does. I don't know what that means either, but I trust you. I just want you to know it was a genius statement. Fabulous. Okay, like, yeah, Fickle Gruber has a fancy little vase, but, like... Sorry, I just want to talk about it. The the caption spelled Mama with two M's in the middle, and that was why. I don't know why. Oh, no. Okay, Okay, here we are. Here we are. Look at all of us. This movie's insane. we're just in his. It's starting like this is crazy. There is a level of detachment, I feel, from Wonka that is insane right now. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't... <laughs> I he doesn't become like... human for, like, a good ten minutes, you know? Yeah. It that feels like he's in his dream from him. Bloomingdale's commercial, you know? For sure. For sure. You know what? That's what it is. The first part of this always feels like a commercial to me. The first, like, five minutes feels like an ad. Yeah. Act. Yeah. Well, because, honestly, it's that level of dancing, which also... We don't usually associate Wonka with dancing. Um, like, it feels like... That was Melissa like McCarthy step in time about- Mary Poppins levels. Yeah. You know? I love Mary Poppins. Is that 
banjo? God knows. This is almost like making the character likable to a level of parody. I don't know why they put this in. Like, I get it, but like, Waka is not this selfless. <laughs> like, I love this character, this is, but he this is, is great not. Suit. You know. I, I just me, realized Waka, that the Timmy staring really up at Waka. us was a frame from that scene. Which is a little wild because that that like scene they like the photo of him looking up always is like oh my gosh he's fighting somebody but really he's just like mm, I lost my pennies. Okay, this that's very okay. Now that this now that, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. I feel like that's just a candle trick he has. Yeah. So here we go. We're getting into the hat. There feels like I feel like I should have so much more to say about this movie. What I it's the weird thing is like I now we have the computer animated tittles. <laughs> Looks <laughs> like he's out of a out of The Sims Twelve. You know what happened in the nineties to all the dog actors? You know, like I know. Oh, I can't wait to see your little Bavarian aristocrat thighs. You know what I'm really looking forward to? What I'm looking forward to that. Um, cursed scrub scrub reprise that's not on any of the soundtracks that my brain right. kind of thinks i dreamed up at this point i forgot about that he's so cocker spaniel you know mm. yeah 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 Wasn't this when i when i said this they were in australia potentially what are <laughs> I also, can we talk about how Wonka called that camping? <laughs> he like, went on a houseboat. His life was camping. Yeah. It just seemed very, I don't know, something about a nice candle in a holder. Yeah. More like glamping. I know he was on a bench, but. No, it's true. He's very much the type who, he's like, I'm really struggling and I'm really trying very hard to go out of my comfort zone. He's in a full RV, you know? Yeah. And I'm that person, so, you know. <laughs> I have no desire to camp. I think it is... Well, I have desire to camp, but I don't have desire to camp, you know? Oh, I get that. Yeah. I actually... I enjoyed camping as a youth, but I really hate being sweaty. You know? I did a really cool uh, so survival... Wilderness survival where I had to make my own... Sorry, uh, I was unrelated. I just had the thought that Willy Swingers could so easily get Willy Wonka in this movie. I don't know why I thought that, but there's oh, just no, for sure. About, like, you and your husband are so kind to of me and immediately drinking the gin they give him. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, this is the start of a porno. If you really want it to be, there it is. There's the raunchy we were talking about. Yep, <laughs> we How did it. Take? Five minutes. Yay. <laughs> scrub, scrub your brain from all of that. Um. Anyway, I had to make my own hut in the wilderness in Ohio during the winter, and I made one hell of a bitch in hut out of sticks and branches and leaves. You had to do it during the day, and if you didn't finish, that's what you were sleeping in that night, so. Waka drinks tea. Hat stew. <laughs> Oh. Delicatessen time, baby. Oh, boy. It is wild how much delicatessen really did. He wasn't lying when he said to I used it yeah. as the blueprint of Wonka. I was kind of shocked by how much of that. Oh, my gosh. One of Our my favorite, favorite moments. Scene. Our favorite scene is coming up. So good. This is when I started liking Wonka in the theater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great acting choice timothy chalamet thank like, you <laughs> it was a great moment that was us. really good i did show that to um one of my friends and they did not understand why i liked the o so much they were just like oh that was your thing and i'm like what no. are you do you not see the 
It's it's the fabulous. Majesty. <laughs> also, clearly he got inspired by that contract. If he did a golden ticket scenario oh. where he made his contract. Oh, but no, Tony Wonka is different because he's like, contracts are mean. I was so confused on what you were saying that I thought, I don't want to say what I thought that meant because it makes hmm. no goddamn sense. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm trying not to be raunchy. I'm really trying. Uh-huh. I'm really trying to be good. We'll see how long that lasts before you cave. I was like, well, if the contract is long and she's saying he got inspiration, what else could be long? <laughs> that makes no sense. But that's what my brain I thought you were going to go more in like a Fifty Shades of Grey contract. But... No, no, it wasn't that smart. That'd be smarter, wouldn't it? That at least makes any made... fucking sense. You know, we. Now, what was I about to say? I'm not going to. God, I don't. What happened? What happens to we us? We need to cut us off. We need to cut us off. We need to cut it off. We're not even like in. five minutes in, I feel like. Callalane, our fave. The star of the film. God, I fucking hate pigeons. Oh my god, how fucking dare you? I love a pigeon. Whoa. How often have you interacted with, with you know, the pigeon? Quite frequently. I don't see what your fucking problem is. The pigeon they're a lovely a little delight. I they don't pull that the rat pigeon to the sky shit because they're lovely. Uh, they just... I don't like a bird that's too familiar. What do you mean you were the familiar. pigeon bouncer? Um, when I was studying abroad in Ireland, um, I had a friend who was very, very, very Sorry, afraid of shot. birds. Oh, yeah. what? oh, this is good. There it is. The crusty, crusty bar. Wrapped in fabric. Here we go, mama. I don't know if I can still handle this Wonka calling his mother mama. Wow. He definitely seems like he like sleeps with teddy bears. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that Whoa, moment. Oh, yeah. Felicia, they were t- obviously like we couldn't restrain ourselves. So like we were like both tapping each other back and forth. And I remember that was a moment where Felicia and I were like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> that was great. We we're like, oh, my God, he's doing it. He's going for it. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. Tell me about your pigeon thing so I don't have to listen to this. Yeah. Okay. So, um. You know, Europe has a lot of pigeons and a lot of cities mm-hmm. do in general, right? But, um, you know, you're walking around a lot in these cities, so you have to interact with them. And my friend was so, like, terrified of them that I would loop arms with her and I'd go on the outside and I would fucking be like, I would be stomping on the, not stomping on the pigeons, but, you know, stomping them away and being like, not today, not today, uh uh-uh. uh, <laughs> get away, Bruce, and stuff like that. Um, and so when we would, like, travel to other cities too, um, it would basically be like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm, it was just assumed that we're walking arm in arm with Elaine and she's going to save us from the pigeons. And it was one of those things where I wasn't a huge fan of them either. I just don't like a wild animal like that kind of like slowly crawling up to me. It's kind of like when squirrels <laughs> at the zoo are too much. Now, I did have a chipmunk moment that was pretty magical. <laughs> it ran between my legs and stared at me. That was not in Europe. That was at a national <laughs> park, just to be clear. Just, I think that the contrast... Between being a pigeon bouncer and having a magical chipmunk moment while no, I think just Wonka's listening talking about while Chuck. watching this, yeah, just I think both of it at once was a lot for me. That was a lot for the me. The way too, that song ends is not how I remember, and I think that's because I've cut it off anytime I've had to re-listen to parts of it. Right. I forgot how good those candies look, though. I think they look bad. Uh, it's like one of those things where you see something, you're like, "God, I wish that was edible." But like, they look like an air are. freshener to me. And? Oh, the star of the movie. <laughs> Oh, I love the real so start of the movie. Business. Business. <laughs> God, his delivery so good. He's the true revelation for the movie for me. Whenever he's on screen, I'm looking at no one else. <laughs> That's yeah. not a bit. <laughs> we do have to highlight Fickle Gruber Ooh. wearing a green suit. <laughs> Marshmallow. Marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> I would watch that on a 10 hour loop. And it would cure my depression. <laughs> Fucking wild. Okay, now look. These people are now... Too much. Eating his dreams, right? Eating yeah. his dreams. Eating his chocolate. We're now... And everybody around him has had this chocolate. This is the first dose. Yeah. I do want to let everyone know I did some AO3 research and there is some Fickle Grubber X Wonka fan fiction, which means one of my predictions can be counted as right. 
Beautiful. <laughs> sorry. He's such a goober. I'm sorry. He's <laughs> so crushing. Whistles. <laughs> oh, Matt. Oh, Matt Lucas. You can't just call him Matt. That, oh, my God. That felt wrong. Yeah. Ugh. He's such an eyebrow actor in this movie. Timothy yes. Chalamet isn't as much of an eyebrow actor normally, you know? No. Well, most of the time, his, he's just having to look like a sad Victorian child in his it movies. It seems like sometimes I feel like this movie is him letting escape what's inside, finally. Yes. You know, whereas every the other little film, theater he's child himself, within him you know? gets to blossom, yeah. I have heard that sentence so many times. I think it burns me. Yeah. Because it was in the trailer. It was like the Chocolate first that teaser. Makes you fly. I'm like, oh my God. Get it, none. So, okay. Harvard shocks are one sovereign. This is a great. <laughs> wow, this I'm is still a good... working on the, the conversion rates, you know? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Did he collect a single sovereign of payment? <laughs> he did, did he people were, were throwing it in his little empty jar okay good i was gonna be like girl if you got one try harder yeah i still think it's so funny how much we don't like keegan michael key's character in this movie he doesn't it's just be because it film. could have been so great and it wasn't and then we had the fat phobia and it was just yeah. like cool okay like it was a real bummer yeah and also like his character wasn't even that funny so it's not like it was like oh well there was that you know like yeah i wanted Keegan the michael key to great. attempt a french accent exactly. i would have loved that i would have loved that and he just I like went... Keegan michael key and everything else but he does not do it for me in this movie right i know Look, I think as that was a shemega the... dune fan i think people say <laughs> like Keegan michael key okay what <sighs> yeah it's just um this movie's not his finest work i think i saw wonka's scarf a pattern like that in a uh antique shop i was just in stunning wild what's her bun holder it's like a reverse oat holder for donkeys what do you call those <laughs> a trough a, the, the bags you put on them feeding bag I guess, like, is there a name for that? I don't know. I'm a city girl, not a country girl. Um, uh, I'm a suburb girl. What do you call that in between? You're not a city girl. You're not a country girl. You're just, I'm just a woman. Most people. Most people. Lame. Nothing. Yeah, you really don't ever touch the mini bar. It's like flying Ryanair. <laughs> Damn. They're like, oh, you want water? $10, please. See, this is where the porno could go wild. <laughs> Stop. I thought we were done. <laughs> okay. I will say, I will good. give Timmy Wonka a rare compliment. His hair looks incredible in this scene. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They've immaculately styled him. The, the introduction oh, of these characters so is much. wild. They kind of come out of nowhere. <laughs> they act a little too calm that someone new. I think like, oh, my God, we haven't seen a new person right. in years. And they, you know? they're all a little too OK with everything, I would say, you know? Yeah. Like there's one thing being beaten down and just accepting yourself. You little fucking shit. I hate you. God. Oh, I forgot about. Larry Chucklesworth. I really Sorry, just I need to finish the joke about mind. Timothy Chalamet's hair. The groomer at Petco did great work today. <laughs> oh, Timmy scratched this off is, the I bow think, he had. Is this when I went to go pee? <laughs> this is when I went to go pee? <laughs> oh, maybe. There's one. There's about two minutes of this movie you I never peed, saw. So I had to go pee. Um, when I think Abbott you also pee when uh, Abacus, Abacus Crunch finds the or the blue. They're explaining how to get into the uh, chocolate cartel. Peed, yeah. I kind of like everyone's outfits, except for Larry Chuckles. I don't want to talk about it, but. Oh, God. Now, do I go. make a gay brunch joke? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why did he go, whoa? 
I it looked like he was entering into a rave. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, <laughs> is this technically the only day that Wonka quote unquote works on the laundry, and he doesn't and even look really how do little anything. he does? And he just immediately goes says, like, "Do you guys want to help me make minutes. chocolate instead?" But you guys can keep hitting quota while I go out and do it. Like he he really figures out a great way to not do it while still being the good guy. It's really inspirational, honestly. Good this advice is for way corporate less America. Bad in context of the movie. Like, I don't like the song, but I don't think the song is... It is a little better, yeah, with the movie. It sounds mixed better, too. Yeah, I'm wondering if, um... Like, the vocals aren't as prominent. They just, like, stripped the audio immediately, and they didn't, like, master it as its own audio, you know what I mean? Like, if they originally had stripped it just for streaming services or whatever, but... Oh, they're like, oh my gosh, thank you. <sighs> okay, Mary okay, so this one. does break our logic a little bit because why are they doing a song if they haven't had Wonka's chocolate? That's true, but I think we also like it maybe is- not every song can be explained, but. But I mean, it is in a universe where they say they sing the song to make it seem less boring. So maybe that's it. Yes. You know, but this, you know, we will acknowledge a fair point to contend with. And it is examine. through Willie's eyes. It is through Willie's eyes. Um, because clearly he <laughs> doesn't know how to film. digest labor as well. You know, he, he I'm also not he's not a hard so worker. He but... things through song. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And then this movie just becomes Moulin Rouge. There's something very Moulin Rouge about him looking out the yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, God, like, whoa, yeah. Just a lucky bitch. <laughs> I don't remember that. What a dramatic <laughs> no. This is Timothy Chalamet's Paul Blart Mall Cop. That was me every time I sit on a hammock. Everyone's like, yo, the hammock, the hammock can't hold me up like for some hammocks. reason. I don't like I don't like trust hammocks. them. I find yeah. them to be pressuring, you know? Like, I enjoy the idea of a hammock, but I have yet to go on one that I felt... Hammocks, to me, are the same kind of forced relaxation as, like, a drink with coconut in it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where it feels like it's imposing yeah. a worldview on me that I don't have. So true. Yeah. And I also just feel like people are staring at me when I'm in a hammock. Uh huh. And I'm like, ah. She's like, I. Does he only eat chocolate? (laughs) I like that she interacts still wild. She interacts with no normal adults. Yeah. Okay, and this would explain why. He, I mean, obviously, he would be blown away, but he's just like, what the fuck? Because what's what's Noodle seeing here? Well, she's probably seeing the same thing. I don't think... It's wild. See, this is the shit. This, this is, is the shit right here. This is magic... So he just because like, even if it's like an actual them, natural he recurring just, like, like <laughs> yeah you know this is where it's like Wonka drugs oh look at that and bong the thing is he's using he uses a lot of materials to make very little which implies he must have bigger reserves of these somewhere you know yeah this was so cute I love the way they did that transition. This is very bunny in the bowl. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that, that was really stupid. <laughs> Not that Bravo. the movie was stupid, it was stupid how much it made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> he got a little southern there. It's what I've been saying, that southern undertone. Yeah. I should have bought chocolate. This is going to really make me want chocolate. I bought a Goo Goo Cluster for the finale. Should I do it during the commentary track? Because I almost feel like 
There's oh no my gosh. I mean, in the finale. You know what? I think so. Right? Because I'm like, feel, it, if you it feel does inclined. not. It doesn't feel big enough for the finale, but it does yeah. feel like a big conclusion, you know? Yeah. Do you want to eat it at a certain time, like when they're about to die, or do you just want to like <laughs> go? <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. I'll go pick it up. Okay. I was on a. I was in Nashville for a trip. Love this outfit. Okay, I think I would go wild if I had a window above me. There's something about space that if I stare at it too much, I get scared. Like, looking at the moon is, is fine, and then I think about it too much. Is that a oh, sock monkey? <laughs> or is that a bear with nervous. silly legs? I feel like he should have still slept with that as an adult. Like, I feel like that would have been good for him, you know? Yeah. I would have loved for him to pull that out of his hat. Wouldn't that have been so cute? Right. As oh. he's going to sleep, he pulls his little thing out I just of thought hat. about deleted scenes. I've thought a lot about deleted scenes. Wow. I don't think there are any, at least that they've released. No, they'll probably hold on that for a while. Okay, I also love this desk situation. This is very Ikea. Not only could she read, she could do great calligraphy. It's absolutely wild. That was beautiful. Wait, there's the tree. Do you see the tree? Yeah. On that thing? So that's a remnant, I guess, from the old script, I would assume. And that's why that big tree is in his chocolate oh. shop, too. I never put that together. What happened to Richelieu with the tree? And nothing. It Just in the script, he just had a favorite tree. That was it. Oh, okay. None of the candies look like candies. No, this looks like... Like something you collect for your Pokemon or something, you know? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes watching this movie, it feels like Wonka is Noodle's animal companion. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like. A hundred percent. Um, That's me with Nutella. I was having a really anxious day yesterday and then my friends gave me Nutella and no joke, my anxiety just dissipated. <laughs> it was gone. And I was like, good God. Who needs medication? I should just get more Nutella. I usually don't let myself have Nutella. As we've discussed on the podcast before, I have like an actual Nutella problem. I, <laughs> I just, just go to, to town. Enough time has passed that I bought this Goo Goo Cluster that now I'm um, on the path of trying to become vegan. And this is not on that. Path. <laughs> yeah. This could be the last little farewell. <laughs> yeah. I have it in my home. I already bought it. I, I won't put it to waste, but there you go. Oh my god, yeah. If he got a little sigh, we'll make him sigh. Oh, I like the little whirring in the background. The little wheels. That's the magical undercurrent. That is a magical there it is, undercurrent right there. thing. Right? Mm-hmm. Also, and- okay. Is she's he- had a bite of it now, so now she's also in the. That's the right. The pencil and paper is the drawing. Okay, he does the drawing, or does Noodle do Here's the drawing? The Who does the drawing? <laughs> yeah, literally, the opera. I- what big knockers! <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. No. Now the chocolate monks. Absolutely amazing. bag yeah that's all i think about too <laughs> literally <laughs> also side note flea bag priest you know what he's gonna be in he's gonna be what? in a, a talented mr ripley adaptation on netflix is the is coming out next what? month elaine i'm so excited it's all i Black didn't and know they were and doing looks- another i'm sure we talked about it but i completely oh, forgot I've learned about it for months and have looked up the release date about every month since i've heard about it <laughs> who's um, gonna be out. uh mr ripley who's I the main don't character? know well, him. He's the main one. 
Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I don't know who anyone else is in it, and I don't care. That's fair. Sagwar's back. Do you ever want to have like a, not a basement, not quite a dungeon, but maybe like a lair or something? Like, I like this cozy yeah. speakeasy vibe. I used it's to a little a hotel, as but a kid of like you know those people who build like mini towns in their basement. Yeah, I love that shit, wow. and I know it's fucking tacky, but I love it. My dream house was like a big donut that was all the rooms were individual oh. buildings on a city street. What Fern is... loves the idea. Yeah, where what is she doing? <laughs> oh my gosh! Hold everybody, I'll be muted for a moment. <laughs> it got so loud on the last one. <laughs> I can just see Elaine desperately pre- pleading with her dog. She's like Miss- barking right at the door. Come here. <laughs> you can hear her ears flap. Are you good? <laughs> oh, I no. love it so here much. she is. Hi. Come on up. Go be. Go do something. I swear to God, she's like asleep most of the time. She is so she tired. She's really so chill. causes issues. No, it's just like I feel like the past two times we tried to record, she's been like, actually, I have beef. I have feelings. I have beef. You know, she didn't get to go for as many walks today, so maybe she's just like ready to go fuck. Oh my god, this movie this song is, is a so banger. Moulin Rouge. I didn't realize how Moulin Rougey it is. You know, right? Yeah, which is interesting because I've seen twenty minutes of Moulin Rouge and I went, "This isn't for me," and I turned it off. But I do still stand by it. I could see that. Um, yeah, not it's being a too fun much because I think it on paper it's seems like something I would crack. love, yeah. but I don't like it. Tuberculosis is also just a hard one. I recently read um, Susan Sontag's illness as metaphor, <laughs> <laughs> which since I extended time on the metaphors of tuberculosis, so I'm quite <laughs> informed actually. We also need to discuss the chocolate they're giving him it's watered down so no wonder they feel like they need more and more chocolate it's not enough true the music is way better mixed in the movie yeah right like am i going crazy you know what it is i think sometimes so much better um, yeah like i read an article about like why everyone feels like they need to have more subtitles on when they watch things now. Cause that used to not be the case, but it's because with streaming services, the audio quality doesn't transfer the same way as you do when you have it ready for the theater. So I'm wondering if when they took it from the movie, that didn't translate the same mixing as it would if you're streaming it on Spotify or something like that. Yeah. Um, when you upload. So there's a chance that happened, but yeah, they, they sound so much better. Okay. This is fucking great. I forgot the fan dancing. Oh, it's got their little logos on the fans. Oh, cute. I forgot about the butt clap. Oh, oh my God. Why am I singing? Interesting. Interesting. Because those other three have had the chocolate, but he has yet to have Wonka's chocolate. I think, So now he's just like weirdly caught up in it. Right. I was going to say... Nightmare polycule. That was all I just needed to. <laughs> There's oh. also something very children's garden. Oh, here we go. Here comes the best line in the movie, bitch. Oh my god. Wonka giving the worst advice. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop whispering. Why are they like it's, Why was it's that a little so, much like like the tension was that like, you could cut the air with a knife. Yeah. That was a bold choice. You know? Oof. Someone where you're like, oh, that is why this isn't G. That's what he learned from his relationship with an older woman when he was (laughs) on the boat. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) 
Professor Monocle? Did she draw that or him? It has to be her because she wrote it. Right? Here we go. I like this scene a lot with him just going around and making shit. Right. I want to say if he did cut the piece of his pants from his ass. Yeah. (laughs) Again, they're just like, can you actually just please do some work? Lyric to me. (laughs) It's so dumb. I think this is a funny plot point. I don't care. Absolutely fabulous. (laughs) (laughs) This is made in PG. So fucking... Lucy and Yak. (laughs) That's a a good bit to embrace. This is referring to the internet. Oh my god. This just brings me pure joy. (laughs) Not worm water. Wow. They're like, why? Sharks, I've got something. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) This looks so CGI. Yes. They never showed him taking the piece of um, mailman pants the fabric out of his mailman pants ass. What's a burn? Oh, that makes me want a soft pretzel real bad. <laughs> okay, so that makes I forgot that Wonka used that to streamline his he portion of the work so, so he could just move <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. I always forget about the Wonka jump scare. <laughs> Let me bring my cat to the vet. Jesus. Um. Oh my god. He curled up so tiny in that little sack. I just had the thought, I wonder if Timothy Shelma can fit this suitcase, you know? That that oh, sounds like I I'm mean, trying to plan something dastardly, but I'm not. It was just a curiosity. That could you be know? a fun thing to put on your resume. <laughs> that that I think to oh no, that he could fit in one. Yeah, I'd be like, I can fit in a suitcase. Travel friendly. <laughs> oh, little orange man. This is He does call him his nemesis in this. Absolutely wild. I do like these choices for Timmy Wonka. I don't know. There's something wild about. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> and that's how his magic has become so powerful. No, I'm joking. Oh. Um. The giraffe <sighs> milk happened so fast. It really did. Skippy. Didn't notice that. <laughs> Skippy. We don't speak of B. Bingala. 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 I thought it was Binga. But no, it's a bingala. 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 Jesus. Jesus, Timmy. Oh, Felicia and I lost our fucking shit in the movie theater when we saw that. Wow. Champagne. 
so much alcohol in this. He must have so much alcohol in his hat. Oh my god. <laughs> How many people did he test this candy on? It always looks like there's bees in there. Yeah. I know it's the snow, but I'm convinced there's bees in there. Right? I, I think that too. could have been cut. Old port from the back of the cupboard. Did I he, enjoy, where did he I enjoy gain this experience that. with the alcohol? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those flamingos are just so free range right there. There's a level of stewing the chocolate seems to need to have. Do you see what I mean? Like, it seems like it's not at full power right away, but then at, over time. Oh, yeah. It's a, sl- it's a slow extended release. Extended release. Really- <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was <laughs> that still gets me. Oh, giraffe. You'll eat by a lot of things, and they never got more than a nibble. <laughs> I hate that I know a lot of these things by heart just from how how many times I've seen the trailers. That is hilarious. It's almost like in some ways it doesn't even feel like a movie anymore. Yeah, I agree. And it kind of doesn't feel real. I'm like, oh, this is it. We did it. Huh. It feels like I'm watching somebody's school project, you know? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. In the year 2016 or 2017, there was a giraffe that was live streamed from a zoo. And it, it was a pregnant giraffe. And you were just trying to see if the giraffe... Was ever going to give birth. Was her name April, not Abigail? Maybe. Yeah, it was April. Damn. I had a moment where it's like, oh my God, is this an Easter egg about the 2017 giraffe we were all waiting to give birth? April? <laughs> Maybe for legal reasons, they couldn't use April's name. Have you that ever fed a giraffe? Was Coachella level highlighter. No, I have not. Or maybe, I don't think so. It's a very silly time. Oh, this is this is the part where I might cry. Wonka Scarecrow. Oh god. There he is, just milking it. Also, this is like such a bummer situation for Abigail to be in. Free my girl. Let her not live in this sandy pit. Right. This is so Anastasia. <laughs> oh, it's interesting. They're playing Pure Imagination bells. Noodles Dreams. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and Willie is seeing this IRL. Like, I think he is seeing this. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think he is too. Where, where I think that's how he processes, point. right? He's about to start sobbing into the giraffe's torso. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can promise. It's Girl, you're solemn gonna... vow there is. <laughs> God. destroy that ladder Ugh. such a smooth ladder yeah it kind of looks like a horrible ladder it looks like pretzels oh this song is so this is like the cutest part of the entire movie and I think this song is better in the movie too yeah this one's so cute oh. <laughs> the giraffe is just dancing as well Do you ever look at giraffes and go, pancakes? Yeah. Why? I mean, 
the well, pattern I mean, kind of looks like. The state flag of Pennsylvania also makes me think of pancakes. So I don't know why that's not like a. There are a couple things out there that make me think of pancakes, and I'm not, you know, usually one to constantly be like, "Where's my pancakes?" Like I gotta, you know, yeah, I think about cheese I don't all even the time. Like them that much. But yeah, I look at it, I'm like, oh, it's a dry pancake. I need some syrup on that, buddy. Apples. This little <laughs> dance. <laughs> it's so cute. I mean, this bitch was built for story time, you know? Yeah. I like this one got I'm the most sad about him becoming a recluse because I think he's actually losing something from that. You know, I like, know. Giraffe look at how happy house? he is to have any friend. Yeah. You know? And he's just so like his initial thing is to, like, to just take care of people. And if he's IRL 18 in this movie, that's extremely oh depressing. See, this is this is the magical this urn they're current. Can we discuss, I know flamingos, you know, they're flocks, they have a lot of them, but that's like a lot of flamingos. It's like a wild I, amount okay, of flamingos. Okay, also, they probably flew, like, for, like, eight minutes, because that was yeah. not very close by. I don't think I ever put together this is the Gallery Gourmet. Oh, yeah. That'd be a real bummer if she just, like, flew off into the stratosphere. See, Lily has control over this in some capacity, because... yeah. To be able to, like, control, like, that he's not flying away and she's not flying away. Yeah. Because like, that was not enough to lift him up before, you know? Yeah. Right? And it's lifting them down on the ground. Yeah. And doesn't it just fly away? No. And now they're just sitting on the ground with no issue. This is what I'm saying. He has control over those fucking balloons. Right. Or it's like, again, they could have been like daydreaming while they just walked to this section of it. And they could just be have been twirling around with these balloons. But then the freeing of the flamingos. All right. It's just. I mean, this is probably top five scene for me. Oh, we're going to get the bonka. Get the bonka, bonka, bonka. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's pulling the milk out of the hat. Did you see <gasps> that? He pulled the milk oh out of the hat. God. Fucking confirmation. Jesus Christ. Sorry. If you see the fish on the side of the fountain, it's like Wonka in this moment. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just like... (laughs) Me when I have to send emails. (laughs) (laughs) Great scene. (laughs) Getting to have subtitles now is really a. Man, I want some Neapolitan ice cream looking at that shirt. Have you ever bought a gallon of Neapolitan ice cream? No, I've just gone to town and been like, like, man, do I want to get one whole stripe of a scoop? Do I start with a chocolate? Ice cream, I think, is fucked up. That's just something I stand by. Neapolitan or just ice cream in general? Ice cream. True ice cream? Fruit. Oh, fruit ice cream. I was like, do you, do you hate ice cream? And what is true ice cream? Fruit ice cream. I respect that. I can dabble with a strawberry, but I'm a chocolate bitch. Any like respectable a fruit ice cream would be better as a little gelato. Oh, that's a great point. This is when I peed. So this is big. Oh, yes. Wow. 
all that furniture. Did did Slugworth have a frame photo of himself on his desk? Oh, I totally missed that, but that totally checks out. Oh, yes. I did not know that. <laughs> it was well because they're like, what did I miss? And I was like, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> mm, a secret way in. <laughs> Ms. Bonbon. What wild furniture again. He already knows the information, though. So, like... Yeah. I don't know. I'm just curious about... Also, it's wild that this is playing in his head as he's falling asleep. <laughs> right? <laughs> is, is it, did the story just take so long he's yelling at him across the hallway? Right. Wonka just like zoned out during or he zones out during conversations and then just later like plays them back at night and goes, oh, okay, that's what happened. It seems like it. Ah, uh, damn, when I thought he had a nightgown. That's devastating. He had pants. God, that was really. Uh, I had canon. This is a nightgown. I like it. I've been trying to look up like. You know, prairie nightgown things where they're like plaid, long armed, weird frilly collar and frilly cuffs. I want that shit. I want that shit real bad. You'd look great. Thank you. Yeah, something's broken in me as I've gotten older. I'm just like, I need And if you have tiny shit. glasses and uh, put your hair in a low pony, you'll be 90% of the way to playing a mother in a high school production. Oh, fuck it. When I walk Fern at night, I can get a candelabra <laughs> and I'm walking her by candlelight. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny. Fern, get your little tushy out here. There's shit. <laughs> fucking shit this is a score transcription a transposition of the for a moment I never noticed that mm. <laughs> oh this is the I love look a night hat. Night cap, little. Wouldn't the coop collapse? Yeah, the coop wouldn't even be big enough. Like, yeah, they could overpower. They could coo the coop, if you will. Mm-hmm. This is the magical undercurrent. Also, wow. not to be that person, but I would have broken out of scrubbing and bleaches. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, I like, would, I feel like I would have. I would have. I had enough daydreams on how I could run away as a child and go live in the forest um, for no reason. Just. <gasps> Colin. I can't believe they're in this movie. Absolutely wild. <laughs> I feel like maybe you shouldn't have gotten married in general anyway if, like, if that, they yeah, they that don't well. seem like they know each other very well. I, I do very love bold a little later it. outfit. Oh my god, yes. Him he knows nothing about flop. Colin. Yeah, so I was weird. like, yeah. he might have witnessed the failed proposal, but he knows like nothing about him. Yeah. 
is this a com- confidence based thing? We've never got into that. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This this song is way better in context as well. Yes. Also, by the way, this became a TikTok dance trend, so one of my predictions came true. Oh my god. He doesn't even work here, they yelled. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Lang singing is so he's unexpected. He's not bad. It's just weird. he's not bad. It's just like it's like I just also all I can imagine when I think of Phil Lang is Taskmaster. You just proposed to Madam is wild. You know? Oh my god! Yeah, like okay. okay. I do love this scene. I the think this is my favorite also... Timmy Wonka fit. I think that's yes. my favorite one. <laughs> Maybe it's because we just love train shit. <laughs> we <laughs> like, we are like the little conductor. <laughs> Ugh. Wow. This song is so much better in the movie. It really is. I'm kind of getting some like guys and dolls vibes. Like not the song necessarily, but just like all the different scenery. I got the horse right here. His name is Paul. Oh, I forgot here. that the cat eats it. The cat bit is really good. Okay, if we were on this yeah. trolley I don't and know this started happening, I would Whenever a myself. cat meows like that in a movie, it fills me with a sense of melancholy. That was fucking insane. <laughs> sliding off the trolley yeah, that into was... a sewer train is fucking crazy what yeah. the hell he did that way okay, too now casually. the police officers have had the chocolate so now they have they have experienced Only, what could be yeah, him has we have michael keegan took it i don't even remember his officer name and then i think there was officer, officer affable. affable yeah yep. which I'm gonna say something. I think nonsense is good. Why is he in the Why is he in the closet? <laughs> because Christ, I kind of fucking love closet. it. It's like it is weird that like why isn't he just in his own room crunching the numbers? Yeah. Why is he in a little wardrobe? Maybe he's like I actually work better. I just feel cozy. Choc apocalypse. <laughs> So they're all in the universe. The way they react to it, it's yeah, fucking crazy. Yeah. His little face. Okay, I have seen you make that little smile before. I think it's why I love that so much. Like, I have seen you have such little glee <laughs> and giddiness. <laughs> Everybody shut up. Wedding Froglets just happened. Sorry. <laughs> this song is so much better in context. Jesus Christ. I don't yeah. hate this song in context. Did they make him go down on the octave for that last one? Yeah. That was weird. And like how many people have had the chocolate? Now we're all fucking... Right? We're in the magical dancing. undercurrent. If there wasn't so much that happened, I would have used that to try the Goo Goo Cluster. Because have I ever had chocolate like this, you know? Oh, that's fair. I like that there's instructions on how to eat the goo cluster on the back of it. Oh, I, what, what are the instructions? Hair open, place in mouth, chew carefully. You know, sometimes you, you want an instruction on how to do a thing that you're like, this seems basic, but like... I don't know if I'm going to like this. It'll have a good bite feel. Nice ASMR. Oh, yeah. Getting that good goo goo up in here. Two weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks. Wait. That's okay, now we're... Timeline. We can keep track of time. Okay, two weeks. <sighs> okay. Okay, he's got the candy machines going at night, which makes more sense how he's making all of these. Oh, that does make sense. Because we see and he also, likes to he streamline. has to probably have all of this in his hat, right? <sighs> yeah. I forgot how long it takes for Hugo Lumpa to show up and how, like, blissfully unaware right you know that was the biggest disappointment which like you know Ooh, you have a, an oompa loompa you're like eh. but, like you know nice i got it it's part job. of the war whatever Jeez. but like hugo loompa just did not live up to expectations i would have rather I really just have hugh grant one of my a... biggest like 
notes on the movie is he should have had a teddy bear. I, I think don't that's know why, an excellent. But I really no. think he should have. Oh, for sure. Does he have all of this in his hat? Is what I'm, you know. I feel like he, at this point, has been able to, like, buy extra gadgets and make them himself. But a good portion, I feel like, right. came and from again, that. two weeks. Hat. Like, I know, you know he was carrying the suitcase. So the suitcase is... He's really expanded in his room. He is making he all has. of it in his room. And here's where the movie gets worse. You know what? This is the perfect time to enjoy the Google Cluster so we don't talk about him. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see. They call me Lofty. All right, here's the Google Cluster for Elaine. Gorgeous. It is a big lump. It now, is. for those who haven't, Google Clusters were big for us in the beginning of the podcast. We talked about Google Clusters quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So when it was finally my time to try one, it was a big deal. Yes. So I will give my review. Do you taste some marshmallow? It's nougat. It's not marshmallow. <gasps> nougat? It's kind of just a Snickers. It's just a Snickers, right? It's got that vibe. It's got that vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't the ingredients of Snickers nougat, caramel, and chocolate? I think so, yeah. Then that's the same thing. Yeah. So just the OG Snickers. Okay. Umpa. Ah, lumpa, dumpa, do do. I, again i get it you want to harken back to the original stuff but i just have never been overwhelmed by <laughs> sorry, the, the fart, fart transition, transition. So, oh my god what do you think was the was hugh grant's reaction do you think paul king told him you're gonna fart oh my god i hope not i If we go again to book canon, uh, Timmy Wonka was supposed to be 14 to 15 there. Wow. Does that mean Hugo Loompa's been traveling back and forth from wherever Willie is back to Loompa land? Or just following Which seems him. pretty far away, like... Goo goo clusters are fine. I don't like milk chocolate that much. So that's my uh, trepidation, but they are fine. There you go. I had a grand old time when I was able to have mine. I'm going to add a dark chocolate lately, which is a wild thing because I used to hate dark chocolate. But this oh, is this a good part, moment for me. Such a good moment. A visceral owl. Willie. Uh. I feel like he should have had like a bruise. Yeah, something wild going on. But he also didn't have like, I feel like from the Banca, he should have also had a giant bruise. So who Again, knows? Maybe he has a chocolate that heals or some shit like that. Magical undercurrent. Plot some protection. Some cocoa butter, if you will. <laughs> it's wild that she was able to buy it. Yeah. I'm guessing I mean, the other Wonka adults must have been involved. fully trusted Abacus Crunch to, like, do all the savings and stuff. But it, that's one of those things where it's a big purchase to make without discussing with somebody. It's like when I someone mean, gets you a car for Christmas. Phantom of the Opera was like, Ugh. broke the ceiling. I need to go somewhere where I can like drop chandeliers and the ceiling's fine. What do you think Timmy Wonka's favorite musical would be? Because that's I'm actually thinking about that. Because we know Jeans is is um, Chicago. I think he would secretly like the last five years because he wants to cry. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I could just see that for him, but he yeah. doesn't share that with people. I don't know why I just need to say this. I think Pop Tropical Wonka like six. Whoa. I don't know why I feel that way, but I do interesting. feel that way. Interesting. interesting. I like okay. I like him liking he watch he's next to normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. My favorite musical is next to normal. Oh my god. Christian Wonka's favorite is Avenue Q. Mm-hmm. Slugworth is in this movie a lot less than he is in my head. I know. <laughs> in just, my he head, just he's really on screen is... the whole time. Right. God, he just does so such a good job. Oh. He should have played the whole chocolate cartel as identical triplets. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. I don't know if it was on the last episode, but I said chocolates. Because I couldn't make myself not like, I was like chocolate, but we had talked about the frocolates and whatever, and I ended up saying chocolate. And I was like, oh my god, stop! But I couldn't fix it, and I was like, maybe if I just breeze past really quickly, no one will know. But <laughs> I didn't it's notice. very, it's very obvious. Uh, alas, so um, this has infected my brain. Oh. What a there. lovely cane. I do miss when we just used canes for fun. Yeah. And like parasols. I, I want to bring those back. Yeah, I've been I read the, the second <laughs> <laughs> I'm just walking to the left He's is like, funny. Oh, oh, oh. Um I finished the the final book in the fantasy romance series, The Last Binding, or what is it? The This one was the and a something, a something something. It's like magical thing set in like 1910s England. Okay. But they they had a lot of canes and I was like, "Wow, that's fun. That's it. That's all." <laughs> Here we go, mama. That's the whole note. Memo Mama, mama. God, he'd be such a good Blues Clues host. Ooh, damn! Timothy Chalamet could rip up a Blues Clues. He, he fucking could. Mailbox. We just got a letter. I could we see. I can letter. see him doing it. Oh my god. Let's see. Do I hate this song as much as I did on? <laughs> I did not realize the way that he has tied a scarf is so... Wow, Tim like, Gunn would approve. Oh my god, yes. Magical undercurrent. Mm-hmm. Because there's no other explanation. Like, okay, in this, you could do this, it as a physical this, effect, I, I will say. It's just I wanna, wild. I want to reiterate, I am gay before I make this joke. He looks like a malignant, like, gay couple who just has those really annoying dogs. And I don't know what that means, but, like, there's something about him in this. <laughs> that, like, it's a pretentious vibe that I don't get from him the rest of the time. It's just the fit of it. Oh, my God. I don't mean malignant as an evil. I mean as an annoying, you know? <laughs> What's silly? This is very Mary Poppins going into yes. the other reality. A British man. <laughs> oh, yeah. a British man. <laughs> I was. I. I mean, I've said this on other commentary tracks, um, but I guess this will be new to the listeners of the main feed. Um, but I was a big fan of Mary Poppins. But Mister Banks was my favorite character as a kid, and I thought him convincing the kids to put money into a savings account was sensible. <laughs> And you know that his entire song by heart, like Felicia just kept going and I was like, oh my God. I did look up the lyrics for clarification, not to ruin the The magic delivery was amazing though. This I sounds so hat. much better in context again. I still say it feels like Disney Pride Parade, but it doesn't make me angry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Aww. 
B candy. Ooh. Hmm. He practiced this in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And a seed balls. <laughs> Oh. Not it's like a rainforest be- cafe for candy. There's a there's a hard rain gonna fall. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> wow. Like shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're singing along. So they're practicing. Mm -hmm. But this makes sense if this is the magical undercurrent, you know, not his. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to know that his friends have done so much to help him. And like you open the store and the best you can do for them is you have to be the bicycle manpower for this entire operation. (laughs) Like I would be like, I I think I deserve a higher up like role at this establishment. Am I, am I, I hate those bunnies. And I think it's because I watched the veggie tales Easter one with Ebenezer Scrooge oh. with the bunnies and there was something like that makes me feel melancholy. Oh. There's a lot of melancholy vibes for you with this movie today. I don't know. When things are supposed to be cute to be cute, they make me upset and I don't know what that means. Oh. Like when a cat just does a very stereotypical meow, it makes me feel weird. Like it feels like something's empty. Sometimes when I watch an old person really enjoying something, it makes me sad. Not for them, but just... I, I don't know. Yeah. I can't explain it either. Sorry, I'd never notice how big that fucking pretzel he's carrying oh my is. God, Jesus yeah. Christ. He's carrying that like a fucking handbag. You know what? Here's the thing. Minus the eyebrows, I think it would look good on him. Kind of work... Okay, Does that spit the, it the out? CGI on that looks so bad. Yeah. Toga Boca Hair Salon core. Okay, we didn't see Wonka spit that out. He's so hardcore at getting people to stop eating it. Uh huh. Okay, poisoned is a bit aggressive to say as opposed to ingredients have been mixed up you know what i mean because i'd be like oh am i gonna fucking die is there e coli yeah oh this is so intense yeah really okay i don't know who would react this way to that i don't this just seems really yeah this this lady <laughs> this lady like oh my god we don't need to murder him just because you got colored hair like And this is how he gained access to This is the future hell. liberals want. <laughs> <laughs> Colored hair and chaos. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> I don't like the chocolate tree. Like, I like the idea, but it did kind of look veiny and creepy. Also, friends don't let friends have to wear a uniform that looks like that. (laughs) Damn. Bringing back my um, insane, out of nowhere theory (laughs) of shipping. I am a Lottie Bell ex, uh, what's her name? Piper Ben's truther. I believe they are girlfriends in my heart of heart. It makes sense to me. I can see it. There's no logic behind it, but... And see the power of all of these things that are part of the magical undercurrent have been destroyed, which may because lead something to has his contaminated his, his chocolate. Right, his melancholy seems to be more intense. He really replays conversations to himself in his brain a lot. Right, like he they were just like, oh, he got so lost. Oh, yeah. for sure. 
He definitely does that thing where he interviews himself in his bedroom while pacing around. Um, and I'm not dragging out from my own life at all. Oh, no, same. Um, Me either. I definitely I've had do that. so many great life revelations just talking to myself in the mirror. I'm like, why do we even pay a therapist? Yeah. I'm trying to actually stop myself doing it because I think I do it too much. I don't think it's helpful. Oh, that's fair. That's, that's how fine. I ended up first starting podcasting. I was like, Jesus, I need to <laughs> rein this in. What the fuck do I do? And I'm like, it's a podcast now. <sighs> do I accidentally have my porch light on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so uncomfortable. Ew. I have that when I have the like hallway light on. It makes me feel disconcerted. Gosh, because no one else in this neighborhood has their porch light on. So I'm like, it's all eyes on the porch. Oh, my God, I do. <gasps> oh. I'm going to have a bunch of freaky moths. So their money moths. looks fake. It looks like it is so untarnished. It looks like yeah. I could I could commit. Like I could make fake money so easily. Yeah, know? with that. Oh, for sure. That's just a piece of I mean, of for paper. all we know, they made their fake money too. That seems like up their alley. But yeah, no one snorted anything using those. It's just like. Sorry, Noodle. Oh. Oh, my God. So devastating. <laughs> like, he's it's willing not- to make a sacrifice to not make chocolate here at all. And what other Wonka adaptation would we see that? I don't I know. know. It's, it's He would be wild. like, no, I'm going to find a way. Well, but he this does Wonka's literally like, stop. <laughs> the plot of Wonka is him stopping making chocolate to pass it on to someone else. And I guess it's retiring, but I do think I'm that's fair. That. He has a whole alphabet on his wall. Oh. I don't know if I know that. I think the Goo Goo Cluster has upset my stomach. Oh, no. <laughs> It's a Google cluster fuck. Oh, no. I'm going to eat the second half of the piece of gum I put aside, and we'll see if I have to dash to the bathroom. Okay, good. I'll keep I thought you were going to say, like, you had only eaten the first half of the Google cluster, and you were about to eat the second half. I'm like, don't, don't. You don't feel good. I could have eaten about two bites of that and been happy, but. Yeah. I had a real debate when I was buying plane tickets recently. I was like, do I want to upgrade to main cabin? Whoa. And it was a $10 I difference. I had I to like, fly main cabin for Wonka Watch. Oh, wow. Because I was on a regional jet. <laughs> because I was on a regional Ooh. jet, I had to do fares match to go both ways. So I just love that you were like, there's something just like, I don't know. It's like, I'm flying to my destiny. And like, you're flying to me. And it was just... What a weird fucking trip. <laughs> you know what, y'all? I gotta use the bathroom real quick. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'll, I'll be back. But if is it you, not Honestly, a this is a great time to go pee because you get it's to miss Oompa Loompa. Yeah. Hugo Loompa. I am trying to ignore him as much as possible. Yeah, I love it. I'll be back, y'all. Have fun. Ah. Uh, oh, God. You know, aside from... We've talked a lot about why we're not... You know, obviously huge fans of the Oompa Loompa inclusion in the story, as a lot of people are. But it, there's just something about Lofty that's just grating. I guess it's because the Oompa Loompa song is so repetitive to begin with anyway. And then it just keeps happening here. And then also we've talked about the animation as well. It's just it doesn't make sense. And it's like, you know, it's just a wild time. I do kind of enjoy this drinking box thing like this would be great if i was up in the airport and i was like okay excuse me i will now be doing this with all of my less than three ounce mini bottles <laughs> wild time bringing mini bottles on an airplane don't know if y'all ever done it it feels illegal but you can now you can't drink it on the airplane <laughs> you know Hugh Loompa should be in a barbershop quartet. I do enjoy his socks. I'll say that. How has Wonka not gotten frostbite? I just feel like he's 
his coat is not warm enough for any of the winter places he's been. And also the the gourmet chocolat, gourmet... God, you think I know the name of this point. Whatever. The strip mall of chocolate. Like, they always show the fountain is frozen at night or whatever. And maybe that's just the outside and the insides there. But I was just like, it doesn't make sense. We go from like, yeah, it's okay to like, it's super snowy at night. And, you know, I used to live in Ohio. I know how snow works. And it, it doesn't immediately go away like that. Uh... Oh my god, I remember when we were going and we're like, what's on Wonka's hand when we first saw the snippets? Oh my goodness. Remember how focused we were on the palm of his hand? I was just talking about that. I was like, that was such that had such a grip on us. <gasps> Oh no, it's like what happened to Zuko in season one of Avatar, Last Airbender. <laughs> yeah. I just think a Macaulay Culkin party monster laugh would feel great right now. I don't know how we are watching so many different movies, and for some reason that one comes up all the time it's and i don't know what lot, that says about right? that movie it's one of, i have like eight core th- like there's a there's a core pool that i pull from whenever i'm making references to things <laughs> and it's normally one of those 10 things angels in america just got added to the pool and that's how you know it's bad like when it gets added to the pool it's gonna come up you know it's just it's impressive that there are just things that can apply to all i mean that was different that, i mean not even related to this film you know well party monster is like a gay but it gets brought up by someone on this podcast i won't name names yeah but it's wild i'm gonna have to watch it at some point because i feel like you know i don't fully i don't know if it needs to be commentary track but i do really want to be there yeah (laughs) i I would not want to watch that alone at all no part of me would want to watch that alone scradley da (laughs) i don't know why that part that part was so fucking wild (laughs) Oof. I feel like it's wild that the other friends didn't come to get her back right away. I know they do later, but yeah, I just be like, mm? because they'd be like, it's it's still just a kid on her own in the streets. Also, you don't want to be walking around with that much money on you, you know. I will say elegant embroidery on the dungarees. They're really beautiful. Now, did he buy those or did he already have them? I don't know. I just want to say there's something so church-like about the coop. What if Wonka made them? There is... I love a pigeon. I'm sorry. I can never hate you, pigeon. Elaine can't mm. make me hate you. <laughs> I love the beauty everywhere. of animals that I can see very easily, you know? <laughs> Chameleons, get the fuck out of here, you ugly fucks. I think it is um, posturing to have an animal, a favorite animal that you don't see. I like, like having like animals. Like, frequently, like, casually? Like, what do you mean by yeah, that? Yeah, I like just having favorite animals that I can see regularly. Why would I deprive myself of that joy? You know? Oh, okay. It was, like, the best day of my life when I finally got to see a beluga whale. I love belugas. They're just always smiling, and they make little bubbles, little goofs. That's why I play Zoo Tycoon. You can see those animals anytime you want. <laughs> little planet zoo going on. The chocoholic monks are really just Wim Hof. Wim Hof right there, yeah. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet is on a podcast talking about the Four Wim Hof. Four miles? Method. You know who did a documentary about Wim Hof? 
Hmm? Jacob Sartorius. Isn't that wild? Oh, intriguing. My dad gave me the Wim Hof book. That's just a fun nugget. With her, like, you're right, Noodle. Okay, bye. And they just leave her there. I told you I was greedy. (laughs) How did that not break that ladder? Oopsie, poopsie, oopsie, poopsie. I, for some reason, kept thinking this was the entrance to the gallery gourmet and not (laughs) the church. They became the same place in my head. It all looks the... I wonder, I think if I became an orphan as a kid, I would have reflexively adopted a British accent, you know? There's something about it. Yeah. I I think we've talked about this. Basil's main this... starts with B? It's like Basil's. What a fun lover. Oh, boy. You don't want to be stuck there by the shitter. I was going to say, he's going to get shit on. Hundreds of years of history desecrated. Why does the CGI trial? giraffe look better than the CGI dog? <laughs> it's, you know, maybe because, because I see giraffes less. <laughs> yeah. Which is, again, you, what it comes to. And also, to. nice thing of picking I'm up sorry, acting animal, with a dog is them. very possible. I know yeah. working with live animals is hard, but like that could have easily been. They could have yeah. easily saved some money from the CGI budget and just used tittles. <laughs> so good. I do begrudgingly admit I like Rowan Atkinson as this, you know? Yeah. I mean, justice for James Acaster, but... <laughs> No, I actually do. I I did enjoy this. Yeah, there's something about Rowan Atkinson running is just brings me joy. I don't think I've ever seen any Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean also fills me with that weird sense of melancholy. Mm, I've never seen Mr. Bean. Things without much dialogue make me feel weird. Mm. Except for silent films, those are fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like they're manipulating me. I don't know. I feel like I'm admitting wow. way too much about myself right now. I don't know. Something's happening. And not like measured opinions either. My bold ones that are stupid. <laughs> okay. Oh, here it is. The snake. I want to say, I want to give Timothy Chalmay props good monkey impression. That was really good. I want to watch them play karaoke. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe he doesn't even do the snake thing on screen and we got so excited about it. He's like barely on screen while it's happening. Oh, yeah. I thought he said, oh, fucking me. Giraffes are so silly. Like, what are those knees doing? Now, when Abacus Crunch used to work there, did he have to... Was this the way he had to commute every day? He's like, okay, I gotta go into the confessional booth? I don't... Yeah... It honestly seemed like the offices were at a different place. It seemed like he didn't go to the offices. Right. Like he went to Slugworth's office. There has to be another way to get in probably from each of their own offices. I would imagine. Because he wants to do this whole song and dance each time. I'm a very religious man. Oh, Broadway show. No, it's a big night out. Get your candies right. My bad. (laughs) 
Oh my god. <laughs> Wonka getting couples together. That cane has some some kind of horrible knife bottom to be able to stick in so many places that don't have yeah. cracks where it could just get wedged in. Like, it's not getting wedged. Magical it's getting... Magical undercurrent, bitch. <laughs> Look at all those shrimp. Their beaks look like Louis Vuittons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. They just look yeah. like an elegant shoe. <laughs> Check out the flamingos on those gams. <laughs> that light still gets me. You know, this movie sometimes reminds me of Dick Tracy, too. Just, I think, the inside of the car being blue. I don't know that one, but I trust you. I had to turn Dick Tracy off because I was um, disappointed by its color palette. Um, I thought it wasn't um, considered Uh, enough about color theory, but that's personal. Mm. I got so annoyed about it, I re-edited um, stills from it to fix it. Oh, wow. I was like 16. I was really bored. We're learning so much <laughs> in really this commentary really track. I fucking myself. love it. Here, I'll try to think of some stuff. I don't think well. we talked about the movie for a good bit. We should probably pay attention to the film. <laughs> I mean, I am paying attention. It's just this part's uh, pretty, you know, straight up, straight up and down. It's the Wonka movie. It's the Wonka movie. The gun. All right, the gun scare. Forgot about that. Miss Bond. Bond get my huge gun. escalation. Yeah. I like that he's, wait, he still put up his clothes. He's like, yeah. okay, hold on. We're going to be looking at some dusty books. Let me just perfectly put my stuff together. Oh, the reveal. And also, like, Timmy Waka was not that frightened by the gun. Neither of them were that spooked. No. I would have been like, fuck, a gun's involved? Okay, this is... Okay. Arthur and Zebedee. But... (laughs) Every line delivery. So good. There's like something in his eyes and the smile. No. Oh. I never trust any. If anyone looked at me, I was like, yes, I can help. I'd be like, mm, well. I mean, I guess. At least Mrs. Scrubbit, like, took care of her, shockingly. <laughs> I mean, That's not yeah. being like, oh, at least she did. It's just like, you know, we look at our levels of evil, and at least she was like, yeah. I mean, she used her as labor, essentially, yeah, but... Yeah. She did not guess, let like, her die. The bar yeah, so like, low. took her to a doctor kind of thing, you know, and then was horrible the rest of the time, um... Felix. I remember you saying you thought he was lying the first time you watched this oh. <laughs> to make her feel better, which is so grim. <laughs> Business. Business. Chocolate. Chocolate. They have they have chocolate. Chocolate. Prodnos is butterscotch come to life. I know. Chocolate. Chocolate. 
must always now have three syllables. Chocolate. Chocolate. Now here we go, bitches. I remember the part that I laughed at in the theater? Yeah. <laughs> I'll point it out. <laughs> you were laughing and I think I was about to like I was like tearing up because there was something really sweet. So I forgot what it was. It was just so earnest for like, you know, we've done this for two years. I still can't believe this movie's real. I feel like people would assume we'd have a lot more things to say about the movie. You know what? Now I don't have that anxiety anymore. It just feels like we're doing any other commentary track, truly. Like, just like... It does, yeah. Yeah. I've done lots of chatting while you were off peeing. It's been a wild time. We've had some good giggles. Why does he still have the gun? Like, what... (laughs) I just don't know. Like, do you really think, like, little stringy Timmy Wonka and, like, a child are gonna really fight you? I don't even know. Also, is he, like, doing... What is he doing with that? Like, oh, sight magic? Yeah, that's what, yeah. I like that he had two scarves. I thought he was using the scarf he already had. No, he just carries them with him. He doesn't have his hat of tricks right now. Which Uh... means, where the fuck did he get that from? If he doesn't have his hat of tricks currently, does his pockets also have that amount of space? Oh my god. Right? The magician's clothes. Or can he summon things from his... I do like that bit. Um, (laughs) Can he summon things from his scarves? Oh my god. This is a wild thing to have. Wow. Me when I make a chocolate death chamber. (laughs) (laughs) I wasn't sure where that was going to go for a moment. I don't know. Fuck off. Don't make shit jokes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did he it's beautiful every time. <laughs> so fucking good. Also, the fact that he thinks he could... Sp- Add enough ingredients to this giant vat of chocolate. What is he grating? He has things to grate in his right. I still love that that was his first reaction. They're so fun looking. They ate all of it? Oh my god. Tell me you're joking. Oh my gosh. Oh. How did that shatter? I think this is where I laughed. Because it's yes. just the... No, I laughed at take a big deep breath noodle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. When funny. they were both like accepting they were dying. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm I like tearing just, up. I'm like, oh, this is such I just a precious think I wasn't moment. I expecting this in the movie. And how like stringy his hair looks. Yeah. I think it's having this conversation. <laughs> well, <laughs> neck deep in chocolate, you know. <laughs> His little chocolate beard. That was where I laughed. I think it was just because they were like, and they're dead. (laughs) (laughs) Cut to credits, you know? Oh my god. Exquisite. He's He's in this movie for such a mercifully short time. Oh boy. We're having some wild things go on right now on my side. What's happening? There we go. Well, the audio went and then I got a buffer. 
but I think it's still, I, I don't know where I am compared to where you are, but it's probably close enough. Uh, Hugo Loompa staring wistfully at them. Oh, now okay. And they're going, this is actually extremely dangerous when it's being spun around them. That's actually was very scary. Oh, boy. Yeah, that could, that's actually more dangerous. Look at all that chocolate on the ground. It's the wrappers. Oh, that makes me feel a little better. I was like, no. So I'm going to, we said it once, I'll say it again. The bit would have been better if it was just like his teeth, you know, getting cavities or whatever. (laughs) Oh, shit, Willie. His Oop. name's written down there. Oop. Extended release. <laughs> Literally. Ooh. Delayed action. He literally said delayed action. Dang. That's wild. Again, all that, the power to be able to time that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this operation. They just had to be waiting in this sewer. This stethoscope for so on long. the pipe is wild. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's wild. I bet she was like, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. The chalk apocalypse. The CGI on the chocolate coming out of that fountain looked insane. It looked that like was Veggie Tales. So wild. You've never. Now, had how do you explain this shit? Now, how this. do you explain that shit? Remember, we had a big argument about whether that was a dream or real. <laughs> and that's his magical undercurrent. It's so wild. Our chocolate. Very it sweet. It sews it all together. Ever chocolate makes people fall in love. I don't, yeah. I feel like that didn't need to be as big of a moment as it was. <laughs> yeah, I, I did not care about Gwenny and Basil's plot. <laughs> now we're on to the melancholy as fuck ending. Oh, god, I forgot this was how we're gonna go. Don't put me it's been this. great getting to talk with you because I'm not getting as like emotionally in it because they got changed. This when next scene changed? is just like. I wonder if this is like next day or something. I don't even know. It was just an hour later, went home, took a shower. But where is home? It's a great point. <laughs> Magical undercurrent. Wow. If I cry, I hope you all are gentle with me. Oh, I forgot because <laughs> we see a little golden ticket in there little gold foil he never flips up he's like what it's not the chocolate that matters oh there's another side okay yeah (laughs) this is actually the start of his own da vinci code arch arc (laughs) i must decipher what the three x's mean sure they're kisses but I still think it's why she wrote her son a note, considering he doesn't know how to read. Like, that you was... need to do a pictograph. Yeah. Did he forget? Maybe? Maybe? Okay, alt, alt Oh, theory. maybe. His touch with the magical reality happened shortly after his mother's death. That's when he gained oh. access to it. And to make room for the new information in his brain, it erased his ability to read. 
My gosh. <laughs> I have to make this make sense, okay? That's fair. Or maybe he just didn't get to practice it enough and the trauma blocked out that yeah. part of his learning. But I, I like what you said. Oh, he's just sharing the chocolate with everybody. I remember this was just There's, so there sweet. There was something about that fisheye lens that makes his hat look way too tall in the <laughs> beginning part of that shot that has always upset me every time the I see it because it was in a so trailer too. I still hate the hat. It's the last remnants. Me taking my multivitamin uh, in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Me having my Nutella. It's actually not as good. My chocolate's better. <laughs> I just remembered the taste of my multivitamin as a child and my mouth started watering. Mm. Animal Parade grape vitamins. They really made it. Wow. I had to I do the, the hardcore chalky Flintstones. I, I ate them into college because I liked them so much. Wow. <laughs> gummy vitamins were like just becoming a thing once I... Oh, I didn't eat gummy vitamins. I thought didn't gummy really vitamins have were them. disgusting. So. I think they're a wild choice. Uh, I just don't want a gummy first thing in the morning. I don't know. Agreed. I'm not usually a huge gummy girl anyway. Well, unless there's Scooby-D in it, I apparently. Like we're having but... this conversation over the emotional arc of the yeah. movie. We're talking about multivitamin preferences. <laughs> gummies. Now I swallow okay, one like an adult. Don't say anything, Elaine. I'm not saying nothing. His scarf is so good. It's this incredible. It's a great mascot. I thought you were saying great ass. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a great ass great ass caught god wait i just remember this shot was like them in that thing i remember that was like one of the first scenes we saw yeah. Moodle. they were filming this that's crazy <laughs> that's how oh. he remembers what buildings are he's like yeah. it's like a library because it has a big book <laughs> on it oh my gosh this moment fucking got me devastating Oh, Wonka's just like, okay, I'm letting you go. <laughs> oh. It's not going to get me this time, I don't think, guys. Oh, my gosh. Like, he doesn't say goodbye to her after this. Yeah. This is just it them and view it it's so devastating for him yeah god these lyrics oh somebody to hold on to is so mr wilkinson is coming for you babe you don't yeah, don't worry. worry can you imagine he goes from this and then the only other thing he has in life is hugo loompa for a hot sack like, that's what i'm saying what a fucking downgrade devastating i feel so bad for him oh every god. time it's so timothy sad. chalamet Decided to make this as devastating as possible. And I'm like, did the director tell him to do that? Or did he make that? Like, I don't right? know. I mean, he really nailed the looking wistful. Yeah. Where the fuck did that come from again? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay, every time I've heard Lofty, I just think of, Hugh like, Grant, Maurice the store Hugh loft. Grant and this Hugh Grant are the same person. I just have to say it every time. It's a well, wild time. What the fuck? Anyway. No, it's not. It's not. It's a gift that he has to go. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't believe that he would want to hang out with Hugo Limpa is the thing. Like, that's the no, problem. No, yeah. He does nail this song, though. This is a... Re I really love this rendition. Hey, dreamers, welcome. Welcome to the magical undercurrent. The castle intriguing, uh, intriguing, it amplifies intriguing. his magical underpower, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And he's instructing Hugo Limpa how to use the magic right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The world of my creation, right? This is so wild. This is so accurate. Look at this. We we nailed it, Elaine. Hell yeah. There's the waterfall. 
I'm going to be honest, I really like his factory. I don't like the fakeness of some parts of it, but I like the stone, you know? Yeah, I like like the bones that we can see of where it could go. Yeah. I really do like it. You know like what it. it looks like? It looks like the Match 3 mobile game. Wonka. Which is like factory. wildly one of the best yeah. chocolate room additions. Yeah. It reminds me of that, too. Are they going to kiss? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was a while. <laughs> I really love that, though. I thought for a second you were thinking about Hugo Loomba and Wonka. Oh, which no. Was crazy. <laughs> wow. I still can't believe that's where the movie ends. I think now that I'm prepared for it, it wasn't as upsetting to me. Yeah. Well, um, and then this end scene, we kind of get like the wrap up on some on people. Not on Wonka. Not on Wonka. The like the me. one person we do really want to like. And also, I just never want to hear this fucking song again. Same. It's just very grating on me. Even before we did this entire podcast, it just wasn't for me. I've never and liked it's it just. This is like the end of Beauty and the Beast. It is kind of sad. Like, did nobody else really try to find them? And it seems like they none of them keep stay keep hanging out. You know. Yeah, they all like. I mean, I guess, well, I guess they had a ton of different lives, but it's just interesting that they all ended up at the same place so far away. Like, I yeah. don't know. But, yeah, it is you sad. Know what? Um, I'm again. sorry, ass- assistant choreographer, second name Tara Overfield Wilkinson. Um, hello, one of the uh, line. Excuse me, excuse me. I hope somebody wrote a Timmy Wonka, Mr. Wilkinson fan fiction. I hope somebody oh except for you and I knows this truth, you know? Yes, it really should be spread out there. Um, that's the it, lasting guys. effect I want this podcast to have had on the world. Epilogue with Mr. Milkinson. Oh my god. I'm on the trip. I didn't understand they were drinking the evidence. I thought they were trying to disguise themselves. Oh I yeah. This. <laughs> which, wait, does that count as a joke that I didn't get? No, but it had to be a joke you brought up to me, which it doesn't count as. For a prediction. Yeah, because I, I didn't know that that was what was uh, going on for you there, but it's also like not that funny, you know? Yeah, like it's it's not really a joke, it's just a plot point I missed, you know? Yeah, you know? Yeah. It's wild that that's the noise the movie ends on. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I thought it would be nice to just have like a little tidbit back of, um, you know, like maybe just seeing that Wonka's opened his fat, like the grand I opening. I can't believe we did not get the Harry Styles cover of Pure Imagination for the credits. I know. I thought that like, was Like, are a you chillin'. kidding me? Oh, anyway, man. you know what? On this viewing, I liked it. I still think it is probably my favorite Wonka media in the sense that I could still watch this, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's. Um, I'm sorry. Supervising set dressers Harley Wilkinson. Um, hello, Ex- guys. Excuse me. Uh, two Wilkinsons. That's interesting. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. No, I feel like honestly, like I think this movie was really good in theaters. Um, and yeah, it's cute. I think I liked it more first time around in the theaters, but I'm also not one who usually rewatches movies. Me so either. I think that Even is something to really stuff. consider. A- and also we've already had to do like big analysis on the lyrics and stuff. So, you know, I think sometimes you just get craft catering was done by fat peach and healthy yummies. Just wanted to shout out to healthy yummies. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> That's fabulous. That's fantastic. Um, no, I agree. I do think the reason I think this is my current favorite Wonka media, notwithstanding, not including the Golden Ticket Board game and the Scott Frank script, <laughs> it is a pure exhaustion standpoint. If I watched this 100%, yeah. 25 times, I'm sure I also wouldn't like it anymore. Yeah. You know? I but, think, like, whenever, like, many years down the line or however long it is when we do our rewatch, I think it'll be a totally different story. I think it's just interesting to, like, the first, like, like like you said, it doesn't feel real. And I think, like, even on that second watch, it just felt, I don't know. It's just, it hasn't felt real, you know? I just feel like 
So how, I just how want has to that make happened? a note. The, the, com- the design of these credits look like the menu at a restaurant at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Whoa. Whoa. But yeah. Thank you. Okay, Hard yeah, rain yeah. gonna fall. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I think I paused it really briefly in the credits. That was probably out of time for everyone, but just a nice little echo. Of That's, I already turned my TV off. Sugar so. string to chew. <laughs> Honestly, I'd also like to note that the fact that my entire thing buffered and I was able to get back to where we I were was watching. So impressed. I was so impressed at you. That was fucking wild. Um after all these commentary tracks and all the the horrible things that I don't know why. Like every other time we try to record the podcast, we're using the same software. Things are fine, but we go to do these commentary tracks and just shit goes to hell. But um Yeah. We were beautiful here. What? <laughs> I mean, we are beautiful here. No, yeah, I think that second watch, um, like you said, also a really good point was the the music, the songs sounded so much better in the movie, and they're right? way better mixed in the movie. And I, I, obviously, I think the context is very helpful for them. I don't think they're standalone songs necessarily. Pure imagination fucking goes hard. It's great, but it's just so it's mixed so much better in the movie, and I think that's why it was a really good theater experience as well. Like getting to have all of those like tiny details that maybe like on smaller screens just don't stand out as much. I don't know. There was a lot of whimsy. 100%. But yeah, it's okay. It's a good movie. (laughs) Two and a half years later. It's okay. It's It's okay. Which was like our worst fear, right? It's just, it's okay. It's okay. But no, I'm more on the like side, you know, I am more on the like side of okay. We just I, have I, it is a fine a lot of film, Wonka. You know, it's a lot it is, of Wonka it is, the, it is still the only Wonka media that I think I could easily rewatch again. Yes. I wouldn't do it on my own, but like if I let's say two years down the line, I finally get a girlfriend, and they're like, "What'd you do over those two years of my life?" I would watch the film with the girlfriend. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, Wonka, I didn't dread I coming wouldn't. into this commentary. No, same. Track. I actually was kind of excited. I, I literally yeah, said earlier today, like to somebody, I was one of my friends. I was like, "I'm doing Wonka." You know, I'm doing the Wonka commentary track today, which is like the easiest thing I'll ever do in my life. I've been training for this for two and a half years. I could do that shit in my fucking sleep. Like this yeah. is my my domain, you know? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It feels very um good to have done that again. It's like understood. It feels like a nice punctuation. You know? Yeah, it was nice. And you got to see the the Chuckaholic monks and I such. I finally saw the scene I missed, and then I went to the bathroom during a different scene. And I missed so much Hugo Loompa because I just focused on you other really... while he was on screen. It felt like he was in that movie for 25 seconds, and that was my dream. You it timed so it well. You way. really did. Um, I still really like Timmy Wonka. I'll say it. I think I do enjoy the choices he made. Some of them were wild. but like, I agree, you know. but I, I prefer wild to nothing, you know? Yeah. Slugworth is still the best. I think for like, the material he was given, I don't know what else he could have done. Exactly. I, like, the, and the that's problems really with hard to... Wonka are not from Timothy Chalamet, which I said would be the case for years, okay? <laughs> Timothy Chalamet is not the problem in this fucking movie, okay? No. No. Agreed. Thank you. Yeah. This, yeah. So I feel um, at peace, I think, as I, I keep too. saying as we continue to wrap this up. I feel at peace having watched it again. I didn't hate it. And I think that's a really good sign. So how lovely and beautiful. Thank you everybody for listening. I hope you enjoyed watching this movie. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got to see it. I imagine there's probably somebody who's never seen the movie still. So and they were I just listening to it though. For you. <laughs> I'm sure. You know what? Somebody probably did it. Somebody probably did it. That's fair. That's and I hope fair. that was good for you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for being here. We will see you next week for our oh. final episode oh boy one week maybe uh, hey also you know what to, you get to know next week you get to know or whenever i forget how time works it this is final it is episode next week it is next week yes um you get to know what the next podcast is you get to oh, know what we're good. doing next <laughs> oh yeah. all right uh, uh, with uh, that uh, being said uh, it's, it's not, not that important, that important. <laughs> it's not that important it's not that all important right. bye guys bye. Bye.